Hello friends, DK this side. In this video, we will do a comprehensive analysis of Alibaba stock or we know it better like Baba stock. Why I have chosen this stock for a comprehensive analysis? Because many of you have asked me to make a comprehensive detailed analysis on Baba stock. However, there are several options available within the sector to choose a stock from the stock market. Nobody forces us to choose a particular stock. So for my personal preference, I find PDD Holdings as a better choice than Baba stock. Therefore, if you want me that I should make a comprehensive video on a comprehensive analysis of PDD Holdings stock, please do write in the comment section of this video. So in this video, we will check the broad fundamentals and then go to the price chart of Baba stock to undertake the multi time frame technical analysis to understand the price action and to see the possibility in future in Baba stock. Friends, do not forget to like the video. In order to have the broader risk assessment of Baba stock. Let us first check the volatility of Baba stock in the stock market. So Baba stock weekly volatility has been around plus minus 8% over a week period in past one year. So I won't say this stock is less volatile, but yes, the volatility is well manageable if we take a call for long-term perspective or long positional trade. Whenever we select a stock for long-term investing or long positional view to take a positional trade, the future growth forecast becomes a very, very important consideration. So let us have a look towards the future growth forecast of Baba stock. Now, this company is likely to post the annual earning growth of 23.1%, which is lower than the industry's growth of 35.3%. While the broader US stock market is likely to grow at 15.5%. So it is likely to outperform the broader US stock market. And if we compare the annual revenue growth forecast, it stands at 9.1%, which is lower than the industry, but higher than the broader US stock market. So we may finally conclude that the annual growth forecast in shape of earnings and revenues looks okay. Let us now undertake the financial position analysis of Alibaba so that we can understand what is the financial health of the company. Look at this pictorial diagram where it is clearly indicated that the current asset of the company is higher than the short-term liabilities and long-term liabilities. To this extent, it looks good. Now let us check the debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio of Alibaba stands at 14.5%, which means the Baba has more cash than the total debt. At the same time, when we look at the trend of the debts, the debt has been reducing from 30.3% to 14.5% over the past five years. The debt is duly covered with operating cash flow and interest payment on its debt are well covered by its earning that is EBIT. So overall financial health of Alibaba looks good. Before we go to the price chart to undertake the multi time frame technical analysis, on the price chart of Alibaba stock, let us check the valuation of Alibaba stock at current market price. So if we compare the current market price with intrinsic value or fair value price, it is overvalued by around 1%. So we can say that it is fairly priced, neither it is cheap nor expensive. But when we look at the peg ratio, so peg ratio stands at 2.3. So here in terms of peg ratio, it looks expensive. Let us now move to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis 
on the price chart of Alibaba stock. Friends, do not forget to like the video. This is the price chart of Alibaba stock in monthly time frame. What we can visually see, the historical price action is it made a lifetime high of $319.32 and then a massive downtrend move started which halted at $58. So there was a massive erosion of value over 81.83%. So it was a complete erosion of the value in Baba stock. What we can now see with the price action, the sentiments have certainly improved in this stock and there is a sizable pullback. But when the stock goes into the downtrending mode, especially to an extent that it made a low of uh, $58 in August 2015 and it has come to the same level in October 2022. So it's a complete erosion and something like a double bottom formation. But when stock is such a downtrending move, we need to have some kind of reversal chart pattern before we can confirm that the stock is showing a confirmed sign of trend reverse. So that we will check when we go to the daily price chart. But however, it has to face multiple resistance on upside move. For example, can you see the price resistance, price resistance and this area it is facing multiple resistance which is a confluence of EMA 21 also. So around 110 to 115 dollars remains to be the strong supply zone in this particular stock. However, if we closely see, this is the price rejection, this is the price rejection. If I draw a trend line, it could be a possibility of left shoulder, head formation and the right shoulder. When it gives a breakout of this trend line, possibly, trend reversal will get confirmed. Now let us do some retracement analysis to understand the price action. If we check the complete impulsive wave on downside from top to the bottom and check the retracement, what we can find here is it is struggling at 23.6% retracement level. So it has not even crossed its first important hurdle of 23.6% whereby we can say that it may go to 38.2%, very important retracement level because it is a derivative of golden ratio. So once this particular trend line gives a breakout, then one thing would be sure, nearly sure, nothing is sure in the stock market, but to a large extent we can conclude it might go up to $157, $158 based on the retracement analysis. There, it will have again resistors. You can see the support. You can see the price rejection. You can see the price support. So this area is a very important supply zone. Unless and until it takes out this supply area, it is not likely to go to $158 so soon, so early, so easily. Now let us move to the weekly price chart. What we can see in weekly price chart? Price action is more evident. Let me remove this retracement uh, chart. What we can see, it was in a massive downtrending move and market structure was lower highs and lower lows kind of market structure. And here it formed a bottom and a spinning top and now the market structure is higher highs and higher lows. However, this low has been broken down here. But again, the buying is coming with the formation of nearly morning star kind of market structure. Can we draw some reversal chart pattern over here? Yes, we can draw. So let us draw. This is the left shoulder. Price went up. This is the head formation. And probably if it has to show a trend reversal, right shoulder may be under formation. This is the left shoulder, head formation, right shoulder. And if it gives a breakout of this neckline, then probably it will pave the way for the target. If we calculate the target on the basis of this upcoming reversal chart pattern, what could be the potential target? 
then potential target could be to $178, which means if it gives a breakout, then possibly 38.2% retracement level will also be taken up. That's what we have discussed in the monthly price chart. So chart structure is emerging, suggesting that there could be a possibility of trend reversal. Now, if we check the momentum indicator, what we can see in the last impulsive wave, it has a tendency to go past 60 level on RSI. This is RSI, Relative Strength Index, Momentum Indicator. And during the correction, it took support at level of 40, which means there is a shift in the range of Momentum Indicator, that is RSI. What we can see, uh, MACD, another Momentum Indicator, is indicating some kind of loss of downside momentum and signal line and MSCD line has gone above zero line. So these indications do indicate uh, probably there could be a trend reversal and this kind of uh, inverse head and shoulder which is under formation is likely to give a breakout. Whether it will give a breakout or not, we'll have to wait. But once it gives a breakout, probably it will give a good opportunity. If we see in the weekly chart, there is fortunately no gap on weekly price chart existing on the price chart. Now let us go to the daily price chart. What we can see in daily price chart? It has given some sign of, you know, a reversal. I'll show you by drawing a trend line. I'm drawing this trend line. Can we see this trend line? Here the price made left shoulder head, not a very uniform right shoulder, but Nevertheless, it was a right shoulder because price consolidated before it gave a breakout. If this is a neckline, then the price corrected to test the neckline of this uh, inverse head and shoulder. But I do not consider it to be a inverse head and shoulder. I'll explain you the reason. Normally, inverse head and shoulder, if this is the bottom of right shoulder, price should not have gone below this a particular shoulder, but it has gone below. So this is a failed inverse head and shoulder by all definition. My ma major worry in this stock is it has multiple gaps, which is still remaining to be filled. Gap here, gap here, multiple gap can be seen. Again, a gap here. So this is always a cause of worry. If somebody wants to take a long uh, positional view for long term investing, then probably uh, it's very, very difficult to fix the initial stop loss in this particular stock and not less than $58, which has been the recent uh, low. Uh, below that should be the initial stop loss for long term investing. And accordingly, one should do the position sizing to ma manage the risk. The question here arises is from the current market price, the value of R, that is risk, is very, very big. And therefore, it becomes a little risky to have a favorable risk to reward ratio in coming days, especially considering the several intervening uh, resistance or upside move. So better strategy would be probably let the price go this above, uh, above and give a breakout of this inverse head and shoulder, which will in a way confirm the breakout of a reversal chart pattern and an indication to a large extent that the trend reversal is taking place in this stock of Aliba. Now, in that point of time, if somebody enters over here post breakout, then probably this could be the fair initial stop loss that is below the right shoulder, which is under 40. So this was the holistic view. And if we check the momentum indicator in daily price chart, what we can see, the loss of momentum is existing over here. Can we see RSI has gone past 60 level. It is not a very predictable kind of stock. Why? Range of RSI shifted to above 60. Normally, it should have taken support at 40, but it did not. And it sustained below 40 for a very, very long time. Then again, it has gone over 60. So there is a bullish swing breakout on momentum indicator. 
Here, of course, MACD has indicated the bullish crossover and a rising momentum. Of course, there is a declining momentum in past two days. But there is a sudden surge in the volume. The extent of participation in the market with respect to Alibaba stock seems to be increasing in the market. So I think the best strategy would be for long positional view after it gives a breakout of this inverse head and shoulder, which will fairly give a good target because if I calculate the target on the basis of this inverse head and shoulder, target comes at $178. So here probably we'll get the favorable risk to reward. And it will not stop at $178. 100% expansion with respect to this inverse head and shoulder arrives at $237. So it is better in my opinion. Of course, you should apply your own wisdom based on the, based on the analytical inputs what we have discussed today during this video. So probably this would be the good entry point when it gives a breakout of inverse head and shoulder. And then, uh, you know, mentally be prepared for a target of 237 or rather ride the trend and trail the stop loss till you encounter some kind of distribution pattern. That is the right way to uh, position ourselves in the stock market. So friends, give a lot of thumbs up to this video. Uh, looking forward to meet you very, very soon.